How's it going everyone? This is Mark with At Tech, and in this video I want to show you how you can edit your videos in 2 by one edit it and export it in 2 by one so that it can be viewed in a larger amount of the screen on smartphones with notches. So the typical aspect ratio is 16 by 9 for videos, but newer smartphones with the taller screens are actually 2 by 1 aspect ratios. Many creators are now making their videos in 2 by 1 to better fill the screen on mobile devices. So in this video, I want to show you how you can edit your videos in 2 by 1, make those sorts of projects, and export them, and so that they can be viewed better on mobile devices. So the first thing you want to do is check out what resolution you want to shoot and export in. If you have a RED camera, you can pick a 2 by one aspect ratio as the default shooting option and it will record in that resolution. However, I'm sure many of you don't have a RED camera. So right here I have a list of the different resolutions and then the resolution that you will scale it down to to fit the 2 by one aspect ratio. So our camera does shoot in 5K and the full resolution is 2.37 by one, but you can pick a 2 by one aspect ratio. We do typically export in 4K, so this is what we'll pick right here. In this video, I actually have 4K Sony footage, which was not shot in 5K, obviously. So in this example, I will be using the 4K option. Now keep in mind that 4K on most cameras is not actually true 4K. It is 4K HD, which is 3840 by 2160. If you are shooting in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, that is a full 4K resolution, and you'll go for this one, but most cases you'll want the 4K HD option. So like I said, 4K is 3840 by 2160, that one right here. And what we want to go for is two by one, which is this resolution right here. If you are shooting in 1080p, then you'll find your two by one right here as well. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a new project with this exact resolution. It works in Premiere or Final Cut Pro, you'll just enter in the exact dimensions of your project. So we have 3840 by 1920. So we'll go ahead and make a new project and we will just go ahead and pick DSLR 1080p 24p. Now I'll go into settings. We'll go ahead and select our frame rate, which is right. Then I will enter in our resolution, which is 3840 by 1920. And you can see it will tell you that it is a two by one aspect ratio just to confirm that it's right. You can set all these other things as you wish, but we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we'll go ahead and drop in our clip right here. It'll give you a warning saying that the dimensions of the clip are different than the dimensions of the sequence. In this case, we want to keep existing settings. And as you can see, it's actually chopped off my head. If we go back to the original, which is right here, you can see it doesn't do that. But in this one, it does. And just to show you how much it actually does, we'll go ahead and scale this down and you can see right there how much it actually does. So you'll want to keep in mind when you're shooting your video that you're going to be using a two by one aspect ratio and you'll want to keep in mind how this is actually going to affect what you'll see. Unless you frame your video specifically for a two by one, you're going to need to do a lot of adjustments and changes to the clip. So we will go ahead and scale this around until we find a good size. Now, anything else that we add, maybe like our intro, is obviously going to get cropped and adjusted here. So we will make sure that every clip in the sequence is good. And in this case, it actually works out fairly nicely. So all you have to really do is just keep in mind that you're going to need to scale things around quite a bit. And also that you're going to want to keep in mind the aspect ratio when shooting. If you're using something like an Atomos monitor, there are overlays for two by one, which will allow you to keep in mind what's gonna be cut off. And that will eliminate the need for cropping and adjusting after in post, if you consciously shoot with two by one in mind. And to edit and export in two by one is nothing more than setting your project settings to these exact dimensions. If you throw in a two by one clip into a 16 by nine frame, it's gonna make digital black bars and it's not actually going to scale properly to a two by one display. So there you go. That is pretty much it. It's fairly straightforward and easy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.